Oh, this. Um, I got three new ones. Not Minecraft, not Torchlight. That's what we've been playing today. I got Gravifier. Yeah, we're doing games now. Uh, Sir Love a Lot. Unspottable and the Unexpected Quest. Alongside. Oh, Filament. We already played. Hang on. Let me let me play Filament briefly. Not to play it, but to move it out of the way so it's not in between. And then Super Blood Hockey, which was our two survivors from yesterday when we did this before. Oh dear. There you go. So they'll move over there and then we can just have this list. So anything between Torchlight 2 and Mario. We've got all these choices. What do people want to be seeing today? How can anyone afford so many games, says uh, Wing the Ultimate Nug. Well, uh, rich people can, and also people like me who review games for a living and as such are given a shit ton of codes. I've not bought any of these. I, I mean, actually, you know what? I bought Torchlight 2 out of this list. Yeah. A lot of these I've got codes for. I get given codes for and stuff. Um, some of these I bought. I'm not going to lie. It's a kind of... It is a mix. It is definitely a mix. But all the ones I'm showing off today I've been given codes for. So, Love Lot is definitely a porn game. Does it look like a porn game? It looks like a tiny blue dude pulling on the hair of some random basic bitch. That's what you'll say, isn't it? The uh, reason to become a gaming YouTube streamer. Honestly, that's the reason I started it. I was like, oh, this might not make a thing, but I might be able to get some free games out of it. Back in the day when this wasn't a thing. Everyone's just chatting porn game now. All right. So I love a lot it is. Lisa says, when I first found out I was trans, I thought it was fine because there were no insults referred to me. And then I realized that uh, that word exists and got very sad. Yeah. I remember uh, CoxCon, Jesse Cox handling that very beautifully. The... Uh, People handling slow stuff. I, I was very impressed with it, and then apparently it was a shit show out in the real world. And it was a very, it was a very interesting moment. If you don't remember, somebody asked. I can't remember what the question was. Some me me, slightly transphobic question, and Jesse kind of like batted it off. And then apparently, uh, fucking TB went on Twitter and was like, "Fuck these people," um, which I fucking miss that guy. Uh, <laughs> that's what he did. And apparently, on Twitter was a huge thing. But actually, being at the convention, it was just beautiful fun, and it was it was glorious, wasn't it? It was, it was, and we. It was. It made me really realize because everyone's like, "Oh my god, this convention must be a fucking hell!" And I was like, "I had a really nice time." Um, you know, I had a really nice time. No, no, you. Oh no. <laughs> Speaking of nice times, oh wait, no, the opposite. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, my vibe is destroyed. Okay, so this is... I'm not going to give this long. If you've not... Fuck, that's loud. Oh, God, you can't even hear it. Okay, so this is quite loud. I'm just going to play this at the volume it's currently at for you. <laughs> so I'll turn that down. Fuck me. It's going to be a little... My volume is currently at 3%. There you go. I turned turn that even further, actually. Jesus, minus 30 decibels. Okay. Let's see what Sir Love a Lot. It's a sometimes you game. Okay, we're off. We've got, uh... I don't know. A knight with a gun? I've got a jump. I've got a double jump. I've got gun and double jump. Okay. I've got a coin. We're over here now. Oh, shit. This person's saying flower. Do I need to get the flower? I need to get a flower. For some fucking tart in a tower. Okay. I've got the flower. Here's a flower. Oh. Climb up the hair. Hooray, we did it. That's a lot of work for that. And then we... Fuck. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what it's like, innit? Innit, you fucking... Tower people. You just... Oh, no. Oh, I must have used too early. Right, let's go. That was the wrong button. All right, let's go. Jump. Hey, it controls quite well. I ain't going to lie. It controls quite nicely. Wait, do you? Hello, what do you want? A flower. I'll be right back. So I can de-flowey. Am I right? Am I, am I, am I right? What? <laughs> right, I guess I'll grab that, and then I'll fall in there. Somebody was like, it's a meat boy, I could make that. Oh, I still have the flower. Oh, that's... Okay. That just means I could get it and die and then be like... Ooh, oh no, I have to land on ground, do I? 
Yeah, okay. Well, that's still... That means I could, I could skip quite a few big chunks. Okay. Hello, here's a flower. Sorry if it's still slimy from earlier, but I... Oh. Okay. Third time lucky. Girl, get out. Okay. Are they annoyed at me and telling me to get out because I moved their house in the middle of the night? Is that what's happening? Is that like what Bar is that Barney the Dinosaur's like fucking first evolution below me? <laughs> oh dear. Hi. I don't know how to get past you. Oh, I have a gun. Yeah, that'll do it. Why does it sound so well? I don't know, it's a pretty splotchy kind of game. I go this way. Oh, it's getting to be night time. Fuck off, Barney. Nobody cares, mate. Flower. There we go. Go pound another princess. One daisy for you. Give me that flange. This is surprisingly comfortable. This might be the best sometimes you game ever. I don't know why I have to jizz inside of a princess at the end of every level, but you know. Keep, gets you up in the morning, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't really care about the... I don't care for the shooting. It's been quite sloppy. Yep. Fuck your puzzles. Fuck your puzzles. There you go. I, mean, I don't need to fucking do these levels. Skip that shit. Skip that shit. Down language. What? What do I say? Wait, which were which are the words I've used today? Have you finally been offended by? Oh, there's a secret. Maybe I can go fucking stick it in someone else. Let's find out. Flange. Oh, flange. Of course. I'm gonna go stick it in her egg McMuffin. Is that better? Oh, look, there's a, there's a goose. I hope I can fuck the goose. Oh. I don't know what happened. I touched the goose and it exploded. Worse? That's worse. Okay. I am definitely spreading venereal diseases around this town. I'm not going to lie. It plays all right. I'm not going to lie. Hey, Dan, is you stream? Hi, Humble Trees. I'm talking about flange. Clunge is the best one. Nobody likes the word clunge, do they? This makes, this, this makes me piss up. What if we follow these little gaps here? We... Okay, so they just move next to some spikes. It's so slobbery. Why is it... Am I... Is that calm? <laughs> am I just firing out splooge? Is this like the most virile fucking... <laughs> this, this Captain Virile. <laughs> We need to we need to go and have sex with something else because oh god yeah well that's all that's fair I don't enjoy the ridiculous amounts of ejaculate that I'm firing off anyway so uh, loves a lot oh I've opened up Super Blood Hockey a superior game that game was great Dan have you played Breath of the Wild I have played Breath of the Wild I didn't like it the first time I played it I liked it more the second when I I I made it more of a calm game calm time game. By pride, says Mr. Billy, 0327. Bye, pride. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Billy wants to get rid of pride. Goodbye, pride. There seems to be a decent amount of audio delay. Fair enough. Uh, oh, two people said pon poo in a row. What's pon poo? <laughs> is there something called? Pon poo. Pon poo it is. Let's see what pon poo is. Pon poo. Mr. Billy says, I have your. I used to have your ang vlog, Anger Busters, Quality and Silence bookmark when I was younger. And it has such pro LGBT takes, and it was so inspiring to me. My issue with that, and the reason I have taken that video down, is I don't like how negatively against faith it was. It, it made me uncomfortable in later times. You don't have to shit on something to bring something else up. 
I learned that lesson. Tempe says, splotch all over the flange with your clunge. I mean, that's... No. <laughs> Pua. Oh, pom Pompu. Do I have seven? Do you call me? I pressed the button to start twice. Story mode. Okay, let's see what Pompu's about. It's the Duck Galaxy. We've all been there. It's by the galaxy. Here we go. I wasn't reading. I was having a drink. Bing. Oh my god, it's the duck god. Quack, 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 quack. These best soldiers are traversing across the universe on this asteroid. Seems like a dangerous way to transport things. I have a better plan for them. Mystery duck. Okay, this is starting to get weird. If this was brightly coloured, the soundtrack could, could go like this. Ponpu. So, Ponpu. I mean, in... choose your Ponpu. Well, clearly that's the winner. Oh, scary. Oh, I like the tongue, but... I'm going to be this. Choose your egg. Remote egg. Drill egg. I'm going to be a drill egg. Did that go inside of me? Okay. Didn't like that. Let's go to Toad Cave. I don't even know what kind of game this is yet. But we're going to find out. I'm guessing platformer with a bit of combat. I'd be surprised if it was anything else, to be perfectly honest. Hi, welcome to Popo. I'm the Mystery Duck. Can I be your master today? Oh, God. Move. Okay. Hate that movement. Loathe that movement. Absolutely fucking loathe that. Press jump to drop bombs. Cool. Bombs can hit you too. I learned that the hard way. Good. To get to bomb fight, you can push your bomb to attack. Oh, so it's Bomber Man. Drop a bomb and push it with your shield. Okay, so I've got a shield then. Avoid other bombs. Keep the shield up to stop the bomb. You... Fine. Oh. oh, I have to. Oh, okay. Well done. Deflect the bomb by activating your shield at the right time. Activate shield, the bomb is about to hit you. Pow! Good, he never saw it coming. This, this is Bomber Man. Oh, you've been pushed away. Now go explode some birds. Fair enough. Stop adding this to the pantheon of Switch Gods. Okay, next level. Well, first level, I suppose. That's a lot of loading. Jesus. It's got good art. It's, it's, mm. Bombs on. Bom Palmer's on to you too. Wrong button. Bomb. Really had that walk in the way. Wow, I got a feather. Is this grid? That's grid based. That explains why I'm having. It's weird when you plant the bomb, you don't you move back a step when you. I ain't got limited bombs. Cosm feathers. We're out. Blob. I was trying to find a decent phone game the other day. I just want a good phone game to play because I'm sitting in that fucking. Eh. <laughs> I'm. Si no, that's. It goes that way. I'm sitting in the fucking. With the dogs. Ooh, big ass. That's nice. That's for you. I just wanted something to play while I'm sitting with the little one at night times. Play Dokkan Battle. I fucking hate Dokkan Battle. Um, critical system error. Got to, he opens the door with the Guardians die. Got to fix. Hi. Oh, you're alive, are you? Blah. So imagine if Bomberman was just worse. That's this. 
Ha health. Stonks. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link's terrible. It's, it's not proper Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. Let's try and finish one level. That one level. <laughs> yes, because we've gone back to the loading screen. So I was looking for a game. I don't want a free-to-play thing. I'm looking for a premium thing, which is fucking hard to find. But I tried. God damn it, I tried. This is going in the bin because it's fucking awful. Um, I tried to find a decent phone game. I mean, there's a few. Like, you know, there's... um, Not Dead Cells. No, 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 no. Nothing that's hard to play with... Uh, nothing touch controls like that. I don't want to play fucking GTA San Andreas on there. I don't want to play none of that shit. I want to just... Tap a thing. Tap a thing. Balloons. I've got fucking balloons. Um, more like Pon Poo. Nice. Uh, Picross is... Yeah, it's alright. I can use my style and stuff. But, you know, that's fine. But, um... Kai Simulator. I thought the developers of that were absolute wankers. Do the triangle one. Fair enough. Might as well. This will be a bit talky and stuff. But I found um, Powder Toys on there for free. I like Powder Toy. That's... It doesn't run very well, but I've got a stylus, which is quite nice. Um, but that's my uh, the thing. I just don't like any of the free games. They're awful. They're all awful. Oh, God, they're awful. Perhaps I slap back in the day. Yeah, it's good shit. All right, let's see what this... So this is the next big Square Enix Final Fantasy Tactics, but not really kind of game. And I really like Final Fantasy Tactics. Project Triangle Strategy. Debut demo. I used to run this company. Uh, thank you for your download. This is special. Okay, well, I guess I won't read that then. <laughs> what phone do you use? I don't know. A Galaxy thing with a stylus? I like a stylus. I use a stylus. Seven hours of cutscenes. It might be. On the faraway continent of oh, fucking hell. I don't know shit. There you go. Yeah, three mighty powers. The kingdom of Glenbrook. Glenbrook. Through which runs the Terrible name. Zelio River, bringing flourishing trade. Ooh, trade. They got trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Ooh, duchy. A land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. Cool, they got iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat. Uh -huh. Home to the lake from which is harvested the salt is central to life. Cool. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Or trade. Could just do trade. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a blood. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, good. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah. Facing their mutual demise. Oh, no. The three Stop, powers let me skip. at last negotiated a truce. Peace came to Norzelia. Good. Oh, anime characters. Yes, I am here to give the rules. Learning of the attack. Oh, look, there's an attack. Fuck it now. Come on. Such a fun fantasy thing. I swear this is going to be a fun fantasy game. Here comes some angry triangles. Fuck it now. I wonder if um, Final Fantasy Tactics is on the phone. Might be out. I ended up buying threes. I've never played the original threes. And I thought, fuck it. Literally, Roxas just says Final Fantasy Tactics is on Android. See? Fuck it. It's a great game. The Knight of Arsfrost is thingy. That's what. Oh, yeah, so we're going to kick their fucking asses off. Father! <laughs> oh my god, it is Matt Berry. What's with all the dead people, Father? Oh, fuck me! You stabbed that one in the ass! We're going to go now. Truly, you're a wanker, said the king. Naughtily. This is a lot of story for a demo. I just want to kind of see what the actual game plays like, but I, I assumed it would be a, because it's called Project Triangle Strategy, I assumed that meant we were getting a game, like a, a gameplay demo and not an actual game demo. I thought this is further along in this game than I thought. They just clearly haven't got around to the name of the fucking thing. Oh my god, that Matt Berry person is terrible. I can't do a problem Matt Berry because I can't be playing because I'm breaking the slave. Exploration! <gasps> The flow of the game comprises multiple phases. Here we go. In between story scenes and battles, there will be an exploration phase. Oh, God. In this phase, you move right freely in there to gather information from the people. Oh, God. Press the L button. Fantastic. Okay. Good. 
Okay, thank you. Curses. Oh, oh. Too many words. Yeah, I want to get in. You want your explosive whiz bang start of a story, didn't you? Or something interesting. I want a hook. I don't want. There were three nations. And they did a dance. And the nations that did a dance. Booty, 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 booty. Select event. Brilliant. Let's do a battle. For the Switch game god so far, we have Ghost of God of War Crimes, Fight Crab God of Crab Fighting, and Duck God God of Ducks. Worship them. I feel like. Watch Dogs Legion was the God of War cry. <laughs> That's where it started. Well, my T-Grab book sucks Chris, the crazy transphobic dick. Yep, Mr. Billy 037. Fun fact, I'm in the crowd for that episode uh, where Matt Berry kicks the door into the church and goes, Father! Um, I watched that episode get filmed way back when. Way back when. When we were allowed to like Graham Linehan before he went fucking insane. The mad bastard. Yeah, I saw the episode get filmed. The bit where Roy's is explaining his phone, the line there was actually about a good 30 seconds of him detailing all the details and bits and pieces. Um, And then they just cut it, and I thought that was uh, irritating because he spent so long trying to get that bit right. <laughs> oh my god. Right, we're in the tutorial. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Deep breath. Um... Remember we could go out? No. No, I do not. No. Anyway, two keys to battle. Positioning and initiative. Positioning. Position terrain. Views you vanish. Attacks from uh, behind your foe or high ground will deal greater damage. That's a fucking chocobo up there. It's going to be. It's got to be a fun. Yeah. Initiative. The order in which units take their action is determined by the speed of the tribute. Yep. That'll be on the top of the screen. Yep. Turn order. Okay. Unit placement. I do dig this kind of shit. Right, let's put everyone on the other side of the wall. Is that a what? <laughs> Can I not do that? Is that naughty? Can I put my beer right, right on the edge? No, if I can actually fucking select this one. Yeah, select which square you wish to use. You know, yeah, no, they're all fine. Change. Oh, no, that's let me do it. Yeah, change position. That's what I'm saying. No. No. Press the A button with the cursor above the unit to change his position. That's what I'm doing. Change his position. Can you just not go anywhere? Can I just... Oh, I can swap them with ones that are already there. But of course. Okay, well. I'm done now. Deploy recall. Unit must be deployed. Keep going, keep going, we'll keep going. Look, it's pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's really pretty. Look, it's pretty. Oh, actually, I don't quite like the sprites. Not a fan of the sprites and things. There's no triangle. You're right, there's zero triangles in this fucking thing. Okay, right. Say I've done that. Say I've deployed all my units. Select units to deploy. Okay. The unit must be deployed. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. They're all deployed. They're all deployed. Okay, go back. Do I not have. Can I push start or some shit? Select. What's the button? What are we looking for here? Sorry, can anybody work out what I'm supposed to be fucking. Is the actual match started? I cannot work out what to fucking do. You select use deployed. They're all deployed. Got this shit. Look, ability details. Deploy slash recall. This unit must be deployed because they're all deployed. Can I just said. I can only change position. How do I. Attack. Gotta find the. Gotta find the triangle, Dan. You, could you just have you go, mate? I don't know. This is totally going to be brought up in the survey. I literally don't know what to. 
I'm pushing start. There's no start and select and start isn't working. It says press this unit to change its unit, right? I've done that. I've changed them. And it just says press the cursor when it's above a unit. Do I have to swap with somebody in particular? Which one of you bastards needs swapping? Who the fuck are you? Just shuffling them. I'm just fucking shuffling them. Should zoom out there. <laughs> to throw all your units into the bin. Let's go. What button am I not? This is great. This is. I'm having a fucking whale of a time. So there's those ones. Look. They're all. It can deploy recall. But they're all deployed, so I can't do anything else. And I can check their... Oh, look, yep, they're all there. But they're, they are deployed. So if I hit that, this unit must be deployed. Because that would recall them from the battle. So we've deployed everyone. Can I change position with an enemy? Ah. There it is. I had to push the button. Sorry. The button I needed to press there was B. The button wasn't on the screen saying this is the button you need. B, the go back button. We must find a way to open it and quickly. Okay. I assume we kill the guys. Pull the boat from this drawbridge and make your escape. Can do. I'm giving this a go. Something, something, break through the gate. Final Fantasy, I'm going to say this. War of the Line was easier. Maybe in front of units, some squares will be colored purple. That means the squares within an enemy attack range. Ooh. If enemies ever attack in front of you, extend the red line connected them will appear. Ooh. Time to work. I'll get shot on there. Okay, right. Um, everyone's going to run in like a twat. Well, take cover. Come visible for two turns. Well, just wait there. Just go there and wait. Iron Dagger. Yeah, stab somebody there. That's not going to work. Okay, well, you can fucking wait then. Oh, is end turn for that character or for every character? It's for that single character. I thought it was end everybody's turn. Cool. Charge! Oh, no, let's see. Look, you can swap me right up. Oh, I guess I'm going down there now. <laughs> and then, wait. Face that way. The hunt is on. Okay, well, I know I can get attacked there, but I'm going to attack you from the side. Uh, oh, God, what? Why have I got 15 different menus? I am ranged. Oh, for fuck's sake. So how do I know what my range is? Okay, so currently on the screen, it looks like a fucking disco is happening. It's definitely Final Fantasy Tactics Switch. It really is, isn't it? Wait, hang on, I've got a secret weapon. I can grant two toilet paper to an ally. I don't think that's that secret. Um, oh, so that's just because they, yeah, they can get to me from there. Okay, I'm going to go here. And then use a bar. Oh, there we go. Now I can see my attack range. So I need to be two forwards. That took a little bit longer than I wanted to go. Here comes Ace of Frosty Swordman. He's so frosty. Right, I'm going to stand here. Oh, Bulwark. Raise the food as an ally's physical defense and magical defense. I'm going to raise your defense. I don't know what that was about. Oh, God. Is not an Defeat is not an option. Uh, a delayed strike. Deal physical damage to an enemy. Delayed turn. Deal physical damage to a single foe. Well, this does more. Protect up a star or some shit. Okay. Suck my dick. Arr, my dick. I'm going to face away from you. Because I think I'm going to be able to kill you before it's your turn again. Eh. Yeah. Oh, my chicken. On my honor as the dawn speak. Uh oh, archers. Let me heal cool. your wounds. 
heal person. All right. You stand there. Run HP to an ally. Boop. Hope the final version has better tutorial. I would just have the fucking B button. I'll take you on. I will take you on. Um, is there a way to show what my fucking health on that? There's no way to show what my attack ranges are. Provoke enemies, deal physical damage to a single enemy and lock them back. I can't do any of that. Kite shield, deal physical damage to a single fire. So I can't do really shit all, but I'll bundle up. Face that way, a bit of defense. So, it falls to me. So, it falls to me. Wall of ice. Quite fun, but nothing useful just yet. I fight for peace. XCOM 2 is much better version of this. No, it's very different, XCOM. Give physical damage to a single flow. Raising now as far as it's two turns, they've got the ability to counterattack. Have it, mate. Flame Shield! Splendid. I do like this kind of game. This is very Final Fantasy Tactics. A very Final Fantasy Tactics. My turn. Which, uh. I, I'm not super keen on all the colors, but I'm sorry. Go here. Slumber stab. This is every enemy and have a chance to put them to sleep for two turns. Oh no. Go invisible two turns. Yeah, fuck it. Put him to sleep. <laughs> I'm just falling asleep in the middle of a battle. Act again. All right, just fucking stab him. Allow me. Victory is within reach. Lovely. I am a Roland. Oh, everything's out of range. Okay, uh. Spear Knight. Might have a decent range on a Spear Knight. Double thrust. Lance. Enemy two squares in front of you. Well, that's fucking perfect, isn't it? As long as it doesn't hit the uh, friendly. And they're gone. The hunt is on. I think I've got quite a lot of people at this start bit. Oh, shit, I forgot that something's literally in front of me. Fell swoop. Well, I might as well hit them from behind because I'm assuming that's a. Fell swoop, please. Thank you. I'll show you start the stances like this. Yeah, these games tend to just bang on a bit too long. There I liked. Um, no I'm always a fan of Wargroove as well. Just stab him. Ah. Yeah, Wargroove in your advanced wars. Always quite fun for me. On my honor as the dawn speaker. I don't know the fuck that prick is, but he's in the right place, mate. Oop, in the back. Oh, is not an option. We got. Uh, the light strike seems useful. Like the little red lines of who's gonna hit you and stuff. It's quite nice. There's a lot of good stuff in this. If we can't squares with double triangles, this game is filled with them. I must be I'm not cat I'm not super keen on the art style. Uh. I hate shit like this. Seize him! I hate shit like this. Before more arrive. I shall do what I can. We have to keep moving. Ah, see shit. Now I'm up. Now I've been put off it. Like, you planned for something, and then it's like, and we're changing it. I'm like, Ugh. I had a game of battleships, right? I had Star Wars Battleships. Star Wars Episode 1 Battleships. And it, you could, there was a mode where at any point you could launch a new ship. And you never know if you, when you're hitting something, if it was a new ship or an old ship. And it confused the shit out of me so much. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, fuck it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that. It's, t it's gonna be too, it's decision making, wasn't it? And I can't be asked to deal with that story and that thing. It tried it. I'll get, I'll pick up more of the light. Was it the War of the Lion or some shit? Can't remember. Um, yeah, I hate it when you've like got this beautiful plan and everything's going really well, and then it's like, and now more stuff, and I'm like, no, that's not the game. 
Commando. Should we play Commando? Let's go through. Let's go through. This is isometric uh, hour. Make our game. We'll do make our game later. We might have to do another. We might just do these on the weekends. I don't know. Mr. Billy, 0327, says, Are you still an atheist or would you call yourself agnostic now? I call myself a uh, spiritual anarchist. <laughs> Calypso. I like absurdist is a better term. It's more me. Summer 1940. Trump's doing a speech. Uh, Commandos 2. So how many here have never played Commandos? I used to play a shit ton of Commandos. I'm just going to start my game. Good loading screen. That smooth. Lots of frames. Love the frame. Okay, so if a lot of you... Okay, a lot of people have never heard of it. I'm going to give you a brief thing. So this is like a, a top-down, well, isometric, um, sort of realistic, but not really, survival war thing um, that makes Dark Souls look like a game for tiny babies. To troops to pass through. If we get rid of the commanding officer... The rest will not be able to offer any resistance. First, we have to eliminate these two without making any noise. I can climb up to the wires and swing along them to cross to the other side. I see a box. We'll probably find some interesting stuff in there. If you get the metal shears, bring them here, and I'll cut through that fence and deactivate the mines. Tell yeah. Oh, wowzers, that's a tutorial. Fuck me. Uh, give me a... Oh my goodness, give me a second to just pass this. Christ. So this is a game that um, I played a lot of because uh, if I bought a hard game, it would last longer. Alright. Press Z out to use a weapon. Hold Z out of weapons like wheel. X use an item. That's use selection wheel. Skills. Fuck me. Everything's listed. No, I can bring that up anytime, can I? Good. Okay, so this is real time, by the way. There's me in the corner. View cones. Yep, this is so early into the gaming thing okay. that view cones are an important thing. Okay. I'm trying to stand up. It's done. Oh, dear, this is one of those games. Okay. I'm going to try and punch this guy out. Just give me... One second. Uh, ready. Hello. Stang enemies. Knock him out. Time up. Yeah, buttons that appear on the screen. We'll do that. Yep, yep, yep. Enemy's done. Fuck it. That's it. Bosh. Run away. <laughs> Bosh him. Okay, so that character is uh, definitely going to die. Yeah, he's dead. He's gone forever. Me. Next. Um, oh, I've got nobody else on the team. He's dead. Yes. Oh, my guy's got back up again. So, basically, it's a game where you could die after about two seconds. Um, if that. <laughs> uh, I used to I used to play a lot of this. Oh, look at that getting up animation. Wee. Wee. Okay. Pow. Uh, and I'm already on the floor. So that's the first bad guy in the game. Uh, let's restart. Just to give you a flavor, that was uh, from Training Camp 1. I'll repeat that. Training Camp 1. Clear Jeff the post to allow our troops to pass through. Yep. Okay. I've got an aim button there. So, a lot of enemies. We've got a mine detector that we'll have to use at some point, but I want to bash this enemy down. It's ready. Knock him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to knock him out. Bosh. Okay, then we want to tie him up. He's tied up. Yes, it takes this long every fucking time. It's ready. There we go. And now we can pick him up. And then we can hide him back here. No problem. That's uh, us trading things. I love, I love, I love physical inventories like that. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Back to sneaky boy time. There it is. That's Quick, quite fiddly. It? Yeah, I don't know why that's got a plus next to it. There's a plus next to the ZR. Okay. You've got the right mind. You got the right mind. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh fuck. So this is a game that definitely should have been turned by. <laughs> definitely should have been turned by at some point. Quick, wasn't it? If you fuck up once, you are gone. Do, 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 do. No problem. Bonk. And then, okay, we got him down. Quick, time up. There we go. Pick him up. Yes, sir. That's two. And then he'll immediately go and yes. try and do some shit with the other guy. It's my turn to have a sneak. This guy can fucking motor. Look at him go. I was born for this. Bonk. Okay, well, I can't time up. So that's bad. I guess we just push the climb button. Tell me. Thief in the green beret. <sighs> this is apparently the stealthiest way to get in here. <sighs> Christ knows how. Uh, I'm not gonna quite. Actually, let's go this one. Let's take that guy out. <laughs> Keep going. I guess I'll climb down this bit of the pole. <laughs> and now I am immediately seen because the invisible button and the sprint button are on the same fucking button for some reason. He's dead. Okay. Anyway, back over here. Yeah. So the button for sprint. Which is clicking the left analog stick is the same button if you're standing still as crouch. Quick, wasn't it? So if you ever so slightly move the analog stick when you try and crouch, you will just sprint and alert the enemy that Stop. you're there. That doesn't seem like a really that must be fucking up Quick, again. That doesn't it? seem really well thought out. I like that this guy we knocked out is fine again. That's it. Bonk. Time up. Anyway, Wait, all the enemy is fucking alerted forever. I'm going to use a minesweeper. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's mines. Fucking hell. Right there. Good morning. I'm doing a uh, survey of the area. Do you have time to tell me anything about punching? Quick, Hang on, I need to unequip that. And punch. That's it. See, I can take his shit off him, which is quite fun. They can wear any uniforms and stuff. This is kind of a fiddly version. Take. First use the character's label, then select the thing. To change it over to the enemy. Oh my god. This was easier with a mouse. Uh, I quite liked this game when I played it with a mouse. I must admit, I'm not particularly enjoying it now. That guy's bleeding out. I don't think I can actually get through. <laughs> I think without him, you literally cannot proceed in any way. What's occurring, Herman Goering? Oh. Shit, hide. I'm invisible. Walk up the plank. There's no plank. There's a big crossy boy in it. Say it's a big crossy boy. I like how they did bother to check. It's ready. Okay, so that hasn't aged. Uh, <laughs> actually, that's not aged well. That was not the best on Switch. Bye. Anyway, let's uh, got another time. Got the time for another few more. We'll keep, we'll keep some of these behind. I'm guessing we're going to do this quite often. Unspottable, which is a man punching a robot. Wonder Blade. We got Tanuki Justice. Hyper Parasite. My aunt is a witch. Slide stars. Slide stars. Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. What are people fancying? Copy as God says, make out. This one's for you. Oh, everyone's going to say make out. Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. Man, go. It's a say down. Be gone when you read this. Oh, goodbye.
But thank you make me laugh again. Hope to catch another these. Good night. Good night, Mountain Goat. Bah. And Mr. Billy, who may also be a goat, says, what's your favorite kind of nut? I felt like that answered my question. Just that bit of music there. That was my Skyrim. Oh, shit. Pixel puzzle, make out. Oh, my God, I hate this. <laughs> that pattern's not even straight. Why are there big gaps? Make it a grid. Make it a grid. It looks horrible. It's a beautiful day for justice. So I get the right. My name is Pixel Girl. I'm a superior in training. From here, I can fly. Others run with super speed. I've bestowed the power of pixel puzzle solving. Totally incredible, right? To me, everything's like a magical sequence of squares and numbers. Like that tree and those babies. Are like you, Brewster, at Coffee Pals. I feel it's just one big pixel puzzle. You might be wondering what exactly is the power of pixels. Yeah. It, it's not obvious. Just, just show me the game. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Super relaxation. <sighs> I found the skip button. Ah, shoes. Women like shoes. So many sneakers. Whoa, shoes. Just get me to some sort of game. It's Pcross. Fucking hell, I'm not fain enough. I like Pcross. I'm not fucking gluing it to a dating simulator. The same way I like dogs, but I wouldn't tie one to a rock and throw it in the fucking ocean. Uh, <laughs> so I would like strip Pcross. Oh dear. D -d 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 Darian says, I'm not a goat. But also, I did want to say it's nice to catch your stream. Tell me frequently now. I'm coming out of a depressive swing. Welcome back, D -d 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 Darian. Hyperparasite. Everyone's saying hyperparasite. Oh, this one. Sure. Put that shite in the bin. I did. Oh, I need a drink. My drink's run out. Oh, God. There's so much right enough for this. Go. Cool. Troglobites. I like it. My fellow citizens, this is an official declaration of martial law. Oh, shit. An alien creature reached our beloved Earth. A parasite. Oh, my God. Coward that hides in our very skin. He said fucking. Changing bodies as we change colors. Even if we cannot pinpoint its exact location, employing the full resources of our intelligence, we determine its goal. This sucker wants to take control of body and unleash our devastating nuclear arsenal upon the world. Well, I say that. Fuck. Police officers and soldiers will patrol the streets and the entirety of our special forces will be deployed. Everyone in our country, honest citizens as well as criminals and convicts, are allowed to carry weapons and have permission to join the hunt. I'll go well. The order is to shoot on Oh, that's sight. some graphics in the background there. Why would you say that? There, I will direct our efforts with this technical is... knowledge that only a seasoned veteran Is that say dad cast at the top? I'll broadcast. I am almost sorry for this pathetic life form coming from space. It's probably never heard of Okay. I'll just cut that off there. I didn't push anything. But I just decided to stop. Oh no, the orb. I've been absorbed. I've been absorbed. Use the environment to your advantage. Oh, is it like that fucking awful game? Oh, it is a... Parasite. I'm the parasite. That's part of the parasite. Sight's live. So the parasite dies, your run is over. Move. Aim. Why does it have guns? Bang. Whoa. Whoa. Dodge is vital. Remember, always wear dodge bullets, enemy attacks, and traps. Be warned. Don't come running back to us if you keep dying over and over. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know I was dodging stuff there. I'll just go through that one. Dodge. 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 Dodge quite frequently. I'll have an enemy with your possession cone. Slorp. 
Lore, I've done that. Oh, and ZL for Snatch. Hi, Crab Sense, your brand new host body. Barb says their HP. Is your host primary attack? And now I'm this guy. Oh, that's a bit fun. I got a gun. Oh, and hold to leave. Oh, but don't tap it because that will go wrong. Oh, wrong one. God damn it. Snatch. That's what I like to call Snatch Game. I'll get XNL right one day. Snatch. I use that sound effect in my fucking game. Uh, <laughs> it's flop. Time for some real action. It's a good thing that this parasite's getting a tutorial. Snatch. What is that? Am I being attacked by fucking a man with a baby in a chair? Did I just kill a child? I definitely just shot a child in the face. Okay, well, fair enough. Hello. Some enemies have a lock icon above their sorry heads. They'll turn red if you attempt to snatch them. <laughs> Dick. It's a good thing everybody lives in the uh, underground. I miss heads. This is the worst version of heads. Special attack. Dodge. Reload. I don't know what my special attack is doing. Good job. It's kind of cool. Like Mario Odyssey, but not. He chose by doing special attacks. You take him on enemies or stronger enemies. Is that a stronger enemy? We have to be quite close. I don't think my ability. Oh, its next shot is stronger. Now reach the next room. Can do. Don't forget to use the map. But there's a thing in the way. I can't. Oh. I can teleport. Hey. Apparently you're called Witto. Uh, we're well, like, okay, yeah. Oh, God. Everyone loves doing their plot, don't they? Let's go kill some things. All right. Execution does seem a little dull. Yes. It's, it's better than that other one that I played with the big blob boy. It was really dull. The outskirts. Outskirts. We <laughs> found one of our ex customers. Uh huh. I don't care. Move. Thank you. Form upgrade. More lives. More b attack. More HP. More attack. Give me them. T I'm never gonna really be in the host body. It seems better to just be like this, isn't it? With a gun. Bang. Bang. I'm a police officer. Leave me alone. How do they know I'm the parasite? I should just be able to walk through this shit. Hello. Reload doesn't seem to work. Oh, does that just give me 10 seconds of that? Oh, regardless of bullets. Oh, okay. I did it. I'm a hero. Did it do? Splodge. Hey. I'm you now. I'm throwing newspapers or some shit. I found a brain. Good. I've found someone's brain. I miss heads, man. Heads was better than this. I have better sound effects. Excellent, excellent. You finally have a brain. Ha 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 ha. That's my brain. Wait, what's my brain doing? Is it following me? Fair enough. These are all the people I can be. See one of those capsules? Just place your brain inside it. Pay the necessary amount. Oh, I can look new people to be or some shit. Yeah, it's not great. Is it? Get out of my life, hyper parasite. Not terrible. Just already capable for now. We're going to do one more. One more out of all of this slot, and then we'll have to save the rest for next weekend. I kind of want to see what Slide Stars is, I must admit. That's the one that I just. I just. I just. Why is the Flamingo doing its thing? I'd rather play Ape Out. I like Ape Out. That's fun. Plus, after the demos, uh, well, I'll play all this shit. Uh, we're going to do Factorio. Yeah, Slide Stars. Some people like, yeah. Some people want The Witch. I think The Witch one looks alright. 
Maybe we'll do the witch as well. Slice us and then the witch, and then we'll be done. Bosh. Uh, Game Legend with 700 trophies. Thank you very much. Finally, after all this time, now have that wonderful uh, 10,000 cheer badge. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Slide stars. Press any button to continue. I never know if this is going to be like a mobile phone one or not. I have to accept a terminal agreement. I didn't look. I never read it. Never give up. It's essential to embrace yourself and follow your dreams. I think learning when to give up is super fucking important. Holy shit. Give up, people. Like, learn when to give up. Hello. Oh. Hello. When did they When did they take this perfect body scan of me? I'm, I I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I just, I just cut myself on him. Oh, man. I... Wait, no. Go back to the man. Oh, shit. Wait, there's amusement force Greg. I don't want to be that. Who? Why are there two of you? Oh my god, are these YouTubers? <laughs> There's Dr. Mike. Uh, who should we be? <laughs> Sorry, I'm merely saying bin. I want... Where's... Mike? Oh, Gordon Bennett. Eat a fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> she just snaps. Just completely... <laughs> just... Like a true hurricane, just gone. Alright. I'm going to be Jeff Seed. Oh, I can change his outfit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy wants to be Triple H. I'm into that. Boom. Oh, they're all locked. Oh, it's locked. Oh, no. I've got to be these, one of these twats. Come and be like this. E. E. What's your outfits? What? You've got something on your... There's something on your back. If you're trying to reach you, like, what the fuck is that? Be the big titties, says Agave. Big titty it is. Wait, he's got the bigger titties. He's got the bigger titties. All right. Cool. I don't know why I'm selecting things. A flamingo or a shiny flamingo? There's a shark. This game is not going to be as good as these bits. There's a lot of currencies at the top left, though, I'm just saying as well. Sorry, it was 10,000 to lose to really bid and play another game last. But look at this. Wow. Look, sorry, do you... <laughs> I could... <laughs> Remember Action Hank? Everyone loves Action Hank. Well, just imagine if it was worth. Large round. Oh, it's like a Lastomania as well, where I've got to be the right way up. Because that makes sense. This makes sense. Yeah, let's make a last let's make a Lastomania. But without a reason to lean forward and backwards. So Lastomania trials, that's the modern version, isn't it? Fans love you, take some risks. Alright, this is for my fans. Fans! Oh god. Alright. You know what else fans love it? If I just delete things that are shit. That was for you, Sorio. Wow. Remember Lastomania? No, I remember Lastomania. Uh, Great work, A38 with a thousand twenty says asexual pride. Uh, Baldrick's cunning plan. Love it. I read that as Baldrick's coming plan. I was like, oh, oh, no, but it wasn't. I'm gonna have a the finale is gonna be my aunt is a witch. And sorry, gifted five subs as well to the little bottle game. Oh my god, you fuckers. You absolute fuckers, the lot of you. Um, oh good, it's a visual novel as well. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Sorio. No, we could have looked at the big titty lady falling in the water on a flamingo a whole bunch of you. are like, no, let's go and do a fucking... <sighs> Sorio subs went to Little Pop Gaming, to Lag Roof, to Cunning Craig, to Sniper Boy 345, and to Lifrigs. And to Jerry, get a sub to Stolity, Mr. Billy, Dave Todd Twindley. Thank you very much. Don't know which one's being highlighted. <laughs> Through the slumber, I heard voices in the engine's rattling noise. Crickstone Road. It was finally my stop. I opened my eyes and hurried to the exit. So I got off the bus. I took the Apollo photo out of my pocket and started to walk along the path. I have to go right after this. 
I, I need... I need to not have writing like this. I had to find my aunt. My Aunt Alice's house using a photo taken six years ago. It wasn't an easy task, I must say. No one cared enough to draw me a map. How could my dad draw it for me with all of his important responsibilities? Like going through the jewellery catalogue to pick a knife and dye the ring up for my stepmother. Ooh, stepmother things. I can play some tie game now on this stream. So all I got was an old photo taken when my mother and father visited Alice. By the way, my father had to prove how much he loved Sophia almost every week. And the price of the presents were increasing rapidly. Exactly the reason why I didn't get a new bike for my last birthday. We call this exposition, and it's terrible. This is horrible. Get something myself. I think my stepmother is pure evil. She might be the evilest evil in the entire universe. <laughs> and I know that my mum, who was smiling at me from the photo, would agree. Her smile was so warm and pleasant. Unlike my dad, who smiled like a big cunt. I swear that when I see her pulling the meat in the grinder while watching me with her sparkling eyes... What? what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did this guy's mom keep him in the room when she was getting plowed? <laughs> wow, anyway. Uh, but now I'm far away. She can't touch me with her long, pale space face fingers. Who doesn't love her? Oh, no, stepmother. Interesting. Okay. I've already been here once. When I was little, my mother brought me here to see her sister. At that time, everything seemed so dreamlike. Oh, I've closed the twiddly log, so I can't see if anybody tries to get me out of this. Everything seemed so dreamlike and unreal to me. Aunt's house was truly a magical place, full of miracles. Of course, since I was just a kid, I was imagining things. Still, I had a lot of fun during my stay. Didn't really matter if it was only a fantasy, because I was having a good time there, not watching my stepmother get absolutely fucking rancidly ploughed by my dad. Gosh, I'm just really glad I left that stuffy bus and was finally able to get some fresh air. Couldn't wait to see the place from my childhood. Wonder if I could imagine something magical now. I walked along a narrow path covered in leaves. It was so nice to walk the woods with a pleasantly chill autumn wind on my face. The sun was pouring its bright colours from the sky, showing interesting patterns on thick branches. Magnificent. At least my book's not this bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, oh God. It's so pleasant to walk through the forest and the peat's still fucking going through the forest. Not so much reward. It's after all. The village must be close to my aunt's house. Last time my parents went to see the toy fair. How? My stupid stepmother probably thought she was sending me to live in some kind of dump. But fortunately, it wasn't so bad. Maybe I can even make friends with the guys from the village. Some part of me would like to fall lazily on the sofa and turn on the comedy show with Jay Earl. But I felt something interesting and huge was waiting for me. A strange feeling for a 12-year-old boy who was just kicked out of the house by a grumpy, recently plowed stepmother. By the way, she herself would... By the way, because this is in what person? Uh, she would sometimes get out of the city and enjoy the fresh air instead of staying here all day. She's always home or work. Probably why she's so pale and constantly complaining about everything to my dad. While he rails her. For a split second, I paused to ask myself <laughs> why I ever thought that Aunt Alice would be happy to see me in the first place. Could she suddenly change, grow old, and become just as grumpy as my stepmother, who's not related to her in any way? During my last day, my auntie and I seemed to get along well, and we had lots of fun together. Who knows what was going on in the minds of these crazy plowing adults? Suddenly, I felt my tummy rumbling. <laughs> I feel like I should be <laughs> reading this in the voice of fucking Jim Cummings. <laughs> Last time I ate was early in the morning. I was given just a couple of apples for the road. The last one was now in my pocket. Groping for a round green apple. Groping. Jesus Christ. I slowly took it out and bit off a decent piece. So let's break that sentence down. Groping for a green apple. Groping implies a lot of interesting stuff. If there's one thing in your pocket, because that's what it was. I don't, I don't think an apple is the thing you have to grope for. You're not... You know, like mysteriously, unknowingly fondling. You're just reaching into my pocket, picking out an apple. Slowly took it out. Why are you picking out slowly? That's not adding anything to the story. Uh, and bit off a decent piece. Now, that is wrong in so many ways. So, um, a de the, the phrase decent piece is not... That doesn't make sense. It's anything. At all. 
Um, what's a decent piece of apple? A decently sized piece? Just a decent bit. You're like, mm, that one's maggot free. But also, he's not seeing the piece that he's... If he's bit it off, he's got to spit it off. He goes, oh, that's all right. You know. Anyway. Uh, it's so sour. That decent piece. So what was decent about the... Yeah. I'm surprised it was poison ass. That's why my stepmother gave it to me. What a nasty woman. Yes, we've established that 16 times. There's a thing called show, don't tell. Did it there? It says, <laughs> I've got to stop with the thousand twiddlies. No. Nope. Also, Hunter Twiddly saying down, stop, please. It's me and Sian, Hunter Twiddly's trash. Did do it, get two subs. Then went to Lonesome Dragon and uh, Peter Bug Kit Kat. Well, at least she wasn't here, so she, I didn't need to listen to her endless uh, comments and complaints. Sit straight, Thomas. You eat like a savage. Are we, oh, we're we still going on about this. The war with her was over for now. I was a little worried what would happen to my father, who I last saw his penis glistening in the sunlight. I guess his relationship with her wasn't bad. Yeah, apart from the fact that she's abusing you. So he's kind of a cunt as well. Just saying. He didn't have to fear to be tortured with sour apples. Finally, I smelled something. It came from the depths of the forest. A lot of suddenlies. It's weird, this mix of suddenlies and slowlies, isn't it? Hmm. Mr. Billy says, this is the worst now. Make it stop. Uh, I breathed in deeper and the pleasant aromas of cinnamon and boiled condensed milk tickled my nose. Really? Tickled? I feel like... Cinnamons, quite, and cinnamons are very sort of, and boiled condensed milk are very like stodgy, thick sort of smells. They would tickle. Tickle is light. It's playful. It's lemon. You know, your hay fever and shit. You know, you get the. It's a tickle. It, it wouldn't be a tickle, in it. It's stuffed, filled. I'm just criticizing the writing as I go through it. How appetizing! The aroma of baked goods coming from behind the trees was so inviting that it turned me into a predator, stalking prey. <laughs> And even though my hunger was uh, stilled for now with that decent bite, I really wanted to try Aunt's cooking. I even felt a taste of something sweet in my mouth, but it was just a remnant of Dad's jizz that flecked off as it rebounded off my stepmother's condensed ass. God, it smells good. It's, this is working out pretty well so far, he says, having met nothing and done nothing. Could have been sent to the Evergreen Boarding School for Boys, which according to rumours, no one ever returned to. Let me read some reviews from TripAdvisor about Evergreen Boarding School for Boys. Three stars from Thomas. Thomas says, too much homework. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> the guys at school were telling such frightening stories about this terrible place that almost turned one of the most disturbing urban legends. Wait, well, turned into one of the most disturbing urban legends. Oh, we got a new image here. Completely different art style from the last shot. Chasing this pleasant smell, I found myself in a clearing. Here's the picture. In the distance was a cliff just from my photo. The house should be there, but it wasn't. I blew my eyes. I took a few steps forward, looking carefully at the photo. That's right. The house should be here. And suddenly I saw it. Wow, this is some magical shit. Dan, your book is written better than this. Yeah, I fucking know, because I put effort in. I saw the outline of the house standing on the very edge of the cliff. It seems to have emerged from the air. What a funny picture. <laughs> Imagine if a house, an entire fucking five-story house... One, two, three, four, five. Six. A six-story house just fucking sprang into existence in front of you. You wouldn't be like, that's a funny... What? Oh, how... This feels like something in a blight and shit. Oh, what a queer turn of events, Sally. Let's say the N-word a lot. You know... <laughs> don't read it in blighting books. It looks like I've been chased there by all the sharp fir trees that didn't jump off the cliff anyway. There's no fir trees on that path. My imagination sometimes likes to play games. I too like to imagine the complete absence of a massive six-story house. You know, around about a value of £450,000, assuming this is in the woods and not near fucking London. Why didn't I notice it at once? Smoke poured from the chimney. No, it didn't. And a delicious smell come out the windows. Now, right. I'm just going to say this. Um, one, that's a terrible place to build a house. Two, I don't think you could smell anything from that house. I think that house could have a major fucking gas leak and I wouldn't be able to smell it. But that would explain the writing so far. Does this kid like his stepmother? Ask Conson Archaeologist. This sounds like what a 12-year-old thinks a 50-year-old thinks uh, a <laughs> 12-year-old sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Spice has come forward at 10,000 to at least for his 10. Please put this in place something else. You've got until Lilith wakes up. Uh, it seems I wasn't mistaken and a great dinner was waiting for me. Does she know he's coming? Oh, there we go. I didn't have time to have the portion. Suddenly, the door swung open. 
Now, well, let's talk about the things that happen. So we've just changed it to a completely different art style here. Is she magicking the cat via its arsehole? Uh, the cat that's stolen the cookie. Now, a cookie contains chocolate. I'm assuming if it cats are anything like dogs, that chocolate would immediately kill that cat. Um, she's got a nice dick, though, so I'll let it pass. A black cat with a cookie between his teeth jumped out of the house. He was followed by Aunt Alice riding on a broomstick. A broomstick? Colorful sparks were shooting from her hands. I don't know. What was going on here? I couldn't believe my eyes. Admittedly, I wanted to run away, hoping to catch up with the bus. But at the same time, I felt like clapping my hands with some strange joy. My aunt laughed so wickedly and viciously that a cold chill ran down my back. Fair enough. You ate all my cookies, rascal. I'll skin you alive. Fuck me, Aunt Alice! Here we fucking go! Just wait till I get my hands on you. Skin alive? I don't know who said that. Auntie began to chase the cat around the house, firing colourful sparks at him. Various luminous figures appeared around my aunt every now and then, and I looked at it spellbound. Hurt, <laughs> spellbound. Yeah, cat's got any chocolate. That cat is dead to Sorio. Fair enough. Finally, common sense took over, of course. This is just a dream. I probably dozed off during the trip. Purple glowing ball flew over my head, showering me with bright sparks. My earlier assumption immediately collapsed and over my other again in surprise. Ten pieces. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah, she probably just wants to practice on the others. Mrs. Billy says, that is stepmom. But without much wood, it'd be his dad. No, no, this could be true. It just couldn't. My common sense continued to fight, but it was obviously losing. This is just crazy. I jumped to the place where the glowing ball fell and touched the burnt grass. God, it's hot. Why does God need to know this shit? Damn it, is it really true? Are you kidding me? My aunt continued to rush for the cat around the house, time after time, flying over the guff. How is that even possible? Can it be? Magic? That question mark. Meanwhile, the cat ran the house numerous times, but suddenly he changed direction, rushing towards me. I stood still like a statue. In a blink of an eye, this long-tailed t- creature, so short tail, climbed upon me. I see you find yourself a shelter, rascal. Get down, Thomas. What? Next time, you'll get yourself under control, Grimoire. My aunt aimed her finger at my bum, and a red spike flew out of it. At the head of the bum. See you soon. Meow. Oh, that cat's dead. With a powerful flow of magic, Alice sent the cat into the depths of the forest, and the fluffy ball disappeared in the leaves. Cat's dead. I could have died, said the house. You almost killed me. Different art style again. No need to worry since you're alive. Are they talking to each other, or are they talking to me? Why she got a knockoff Harry Potter hat on? I have a lot of questions. And how could I ever kill my adorable nephew? She beamed at me and came closer as if nothing had happened. It's been ages. How I've missed you, Tomas. I couldn't go over what I just saw. My right hand furiously masturbating through the pocket, hoping that Auntie Alice wouldn't see. My aunt hugged me so tightly I almost lost the ability to perceive reality. <laughs> right, look. Has anybody ever been hugged so tightly that you lose the ability to perceive reality? <laughs> you just get hugged and you go, <gasps> time and space, time and space, all I can see is... Oh, we're back. Auntie, what on earth just happened? That was the most impudent cat on the whole planet, if you're talking about Grimoire, of course. Talk about those sparks, that broom. Ah, that's nothing. Witch stuff. I'm a witch. Did we mention that? Jog was suppressed a cry of delight. None of her windows are open. How could he smell the fucking pie? Meanwhile, Alex began to examine me. Fucking hell. <laughs> Mr. Money says hashtag I'm awake. You've become thinner since our last meeting. That nasty Sophia doesn't give you any food. By the way, I'm 207 in dragon years, so it's okay. Who cares, auntie? That was incredible. Why is it such a surprise for you? Did your dad tell you I'm a witch? Well, he said... <laughs> he said something that rhymed with it. Hmm, this is real magic, damn it. Watch your tongue, young man. But it really is great that you liked it. How are you feeling? That barrier might have taken some power for you when you were getting through it. Is that because of magic that I didn't see the house from a distance? But you did see the house from the exact same distance that you didn't see the house from. He's now wanking with his left hand. That's interesting. Right you are. This house is not visible to those who are not looking for it. If you're looking for it, it'll immediately shut when you come closer. Yes. So you know what that is? That's not a very good defense. If somebody wants to find you and kill you... Oh, where's that house? Oh, it's hidden. You'll oh, wait, hang on. No, we, we programmed it, so it will just appear if you're looking for it. Complete series on this. 
<laughs> there is. There's definitely some reaching for the whiskey bottle. <laughs> no, keep complete sweat. Yeah. Ambidextrous ranking is difficult. She smiled again. She smelled kind of familiar. <laughs> like day old jizz left on a windowsill. I think it's my mum's perfume. What? Oh my god, is this his real mum? I mean, they've got the same colour. I don't know. They both have a wank secretly under their thing, so maybe. Your mum and I had similar taste in lots of things, but unfortunately, not for men. Ah, she was a leather, was she? She grinned and sighed. It just so happens that my boyfriend had to be a piece of cunt, and I just had to turn him into a cat. Now he's my pet. Okay, let's unpack that. So, she has taken a man who she had an unfortunate relationship with. Didn't quite work out. And she's decided uh, to basically take his life from him. So, that's the sentence that I... Uh, <laughs> I'll just let you read that one yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. She nodded. I opened my mouth even wider in surprise. Oh, God. She turned her boyfriend into a cat. Wow. Well, on the other hand, I should calm down. <laughs> Alan's funny stories. <laughs> this is like Alan Partridge made a video game. What if you tell... If this was played... If she was played by Jet from Gladiator... <laughs> I miss for like in Vegas, yeah. What if you turn me into a bug or a mouse, or if I put my hands on the table, I forgot to make my bed, or Auntie put her hand on my shoulder, interrupted my wanking. Oh, let's see what the art style is now. Delete. <laughs> delete, 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 delete. There we go. Look, we've done it. Rewrite. No. Can I rewrite history? Auntie put her hand on my shoulder, interrupted my disturbing thoughts. Apparently, just wanted to save that. Okay. Don't worry, Thomas. I won't hurt you. I'm a good witch. Now, I'm sorry, Scribble could teach her to me even being a cat, so I don't give him a towel for nothing. He's starting to get really fed up with her shit. I'm just saying. That is, uh... <laughs> can I, can I, can I just, give me a second. And, uh... Look at that fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting to really fucking... He's not buying it. He's not buying it. This fluffy bag... I'm pretty sure the implication there was that she's sticking that cat's tail up her ass. The fluffy bag devoured all the cookies I packed to your rival. Oh, that's good. He, it's dead then. You might not sound now, but sometimes a girl just has to turn her nasty boyfriend into an animal of some kind. Don't <laughs> change my mind. Never been this game. <laughs> I just nodded. Relationships are not my thing at all. Oh, uh, you're ace. Well, I might go out in But one of the girls in school told a friend that she had turned a guy into a cat. The next day, she would be locked in a cuckoo house. Because they're good at knowing the time. Just imagine flying brooms and cats that were once people. I often wondered what was happening next. Whatever. God, I can't. Still can't believe it's real magic. Of course it's real. There is no other. It was very difficult to believe what was happening, especially the part the only claimed to turn a boyfriend. Fucking hell. You know what this is like? This is edited like it's a fucking... One of those... <laughs> it's like that Mitchell Webb sketch, isn't it? This is edited like um, a Discovery Channel documentary. Where it's constantly going back and forth and cutting to commercial and going back to the thing. And it's just... Yeah. Yeah. This is great. Well, except for the cat thing. I think I will take your place. No doubt about that. It's getting colder. We should get inside. I'll give you some hot tea. Okay. She walked quickly towards the house. I looked back towards the forest. Well, Grimmer, hurry up, Thomas. He's, he's dead. He's eating chocolate. It's all right. He always just finds his way home after a trip to the vet. Oh, hello. So, are we going to talk about the rug? <laughs> Fair enough. Um... Why she got loads of tiny vaginas in a cup in a little jar at the bottom left there? Anyway, I went inside the house. I found myself in a pretty spacious hallway with a huge sofas. Sofa stretched along the wall. Do you reckon that lamp was like the person you used to go shopping with if they fucked her off one day? What size are you? 12? Bam! You're a lamp now. There were some pictures on the walls and a toothy wolf skin under the sofa. In horror, I stared at this monster, which seems like it had just crawled from under a child's bed like some kind of fairy boogeyman. Leave it. 
Welcome to the witch's house. It's very cute here, auntie, I said, continuing to wank. I said in a cheerful voice, still looking at the shaggy mumps on the sofa, or not at all. They're just looking at you, chat. I hate everything about this. Be <laughs> sharpy. I was difficult. I pried my eyes away from the mumps on the floor and looked at my aunt. I didn't know you were expecting me. Auntie put the broom against the wall and smiled at me. Your father told me you won't get along with your stepmother. I suggested she should come step my place. He agreed. This woman, Sophia, has completely clouded his mind. From what he told me, he, uh, I realized she was pure evil. So I told her on purpose I actually need a servant to keep the house clean. <laughs> Interesting. She really suggested I should take you and began to describe you as an extremely diligent worker. Ah, You would clean dust the furniture and wouldn't be afraid of any work and so on. Oh, what a devilish woman making you do work in the house that you live in as well. Hey, she wants you to live the worst place possible. So I told her that hell on earth awaits you right here. She was so happy as if she had won a million bucks in the lottery and said that she would sell, send you on the first bus tomorrow. Why are you being looked at, chap? Sophia is really cruel. Whoa, shit, the stepmother's really cruel. I'm going to start taking a drink every time the stepmother's mentioned as being really cruel. I think she's not human, but some kind of base. Drink. Maybe I should put my creature book archive. Drink. Sophia, deeming ink, drink. I chuckled. She showed a drink. By the way, how old are you? Oh, hello, here we go. Recently 12, 12. Wow, you're not a little boy anymore. And that's enough for me. Okay, so we'll just end that there. Um, uh, I don't think we need to know. Uh, um, oh, God. I nearly lost my fucking... Uh, three more fucking bits and I would have lost my fucking... <laughs> Anyway, that was something written by an idiot. Um, oh shit, it says, hang on, I'm just looking at my switch here behind the screen. It's, it's actually got the writer's name, hang on. Written by Chris Chibnall. Anyway, that's the end. That's the end, that's the end, that's the end. Uh, I just want you just to make you feel better and let you sleep at night. I'm actually going to delete this game in the background. I want you to know that that is actually being deleted. Good, okay, there we go. There we go, okay. Just, I just felt like you'd be a lot more comfortable knowing that. So anyway, sleep well, don't think about that game, and definitely don't think about the sheer amount of sexual innuendo that was prevalent in that game. And if your father starts railing your stepmother in front of you, there's probably someone you could call about that. <laughs>